Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be doing problem 5 from the Fundamentals of Chapter 12 on uh, the, the Dynamics book. Uh, this, in this problem, we're given a uh, the position of a particle as a function of time, right? So we have s, let's write it down, s equal 2 squared minus 8t plus 6, okay? And they're telling us that it's a parabolic, right? It's a parabola. Um, parabolic function, right? And it's not negative here, right? It's positive, so we know it should look something like that, right? If this is the x and y, x and y, right? Some parabolic going upwards, right? If we plot this, so if you have a graphing calculator and you're used to plotting things, you can see how the particle is moving, right? So this, you know, x x axis is our time, and the y axis is our position. And we know that as it moves with time, right, it begins to slow, or not slow, well, yeah, slow down and turn around, right? So we have one turnaround point here at time equals two, right? Hint, hint, that's when our um, velocity will be zero because the, the derivative here is zero, okay? But let's say you're just using your equations, right? So you have velocity is equal to ds dt, Right, which we just take one derivative with respect to time, or one time derivative. Right, and then we get that this is equal to 4t minus 8. All right, so let's see what that looks like. All right, so at there's our velocity in black, so at times equal to 2, our velocity is equal to 0, okay, which validates our equation. Okay, so then at time equals two. Oh yeah, if we, if we were to if we were gonna solve this um, without looking at the graphs, we will say v equals zero, right? Or when does the particle equal? Uh, when does the velocity of the particle equal zero? We're just gonna plug in zero for velocity, and then solve for our time. Okay. So this gives us uh, two, two seconds, all right? And that's what our graph was telling us as well, okay? And then, so that's part of the problem. So we want to solve for the time where the velocity is zero, and then the total distance traveled by a particle in t equals three seconds. So we know the particle from, z from time equals zero to time equal two, right? it moved, you know, it went six meters and an extra two meters, right? We're, lo we're looking at absolute and absolute distances, right? So it traveled eight meters until t equals two. And then from t equals two to t equals three, it went another two meters. So total, total distance is about eight meters, okay? So we're gonna find this by just plugging in at s equals s, um, the, the position at 10 equals 0 gives us 6 meters, okay? The position at 10 equals 2, right? Uh, what does that give us? So that's 2, 2 squared, so that's 4, minus 16, plus 6, <clears throat> okay? Minus 10, so that's minus 2, all right? So our absolute displacement between time equals zero, time equals zero and time equals two is gonna be minus two, so final position, minus initial position, which is min, uh, so minus six, absolute terms, we have eight meters, all right? And now at t equals three, so a position at time equals three, that's two times nine, minus 24 plus 6 okay 18 minus 24 that's minus 6 plus 6 is 0 so let's say from one position from 0 to 2 and then this is the absolute distance between uh, 2 to 3 okay 0 minus minus 2 okay Absolute distance, so it's two meters. 
okay? So then the total distance traveled is just going to be from zero to three seconds. It's going to be um, just just sum those two up, so it's going to be eight. So the absolute distance is eight plus two, eight plus two, so it's ten meters. Okay. So just make sure you're understanding this. You know, you have a parabola function for your position. Then it's going to be a linear function for velocity. And if we were to do another derivative for acceleration, right? It would just be four. Um, actually, let's let's just add another expression here. So a equals four, and I don't know why it's not plotting it. Expression a equals four. Why are you doing it? Well, whatever. Let's um, edit one of these. Let me try this one more time. No, oh, why isn't it doing it? Let's just say four, right? Okay. Well. Anyways, so if you were to graph these, um, you should get a straight line. So you know that this is what the position function looked like. Then we have our velocity, which was something like this. And then, so this is V time. And then our acceleration should just be a positive acceleration, right? Because it's positive per, uh, a positive slope here, okay? So this is our acceleration graph, all right? So try, try to understand the relationship between all of these, right? So you can better validate um, if you're, you know, do a sanity check whether your answers are correct. All right, guys. Um, so yeah, so we found the time that it takes to get, or the times that it gets to, um, for your position, or your, your particle to have a velocity of zero, and then we find the total distance traveled between zero and three seconds. All right, hope this video helps. Uh, if you have comments, questions, or concerns, uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys.